Welcome back, friends. Thanks for tuning in. We're doing the recap for today. It's October 27th. Uh, what is it? Wednesday. And I hope you guys are having a good week. We're doing the recap, and today is a... Uh, it's an okay day. Um, up, eight, up 824 bucks green realized today, so I'm happy with that as of right now. Um, it's 140 central time. And I kind of finished my trading, what was it? Around one, yeah, we'll call it 157. Uh, so um, a bit earlier day for me, and I really just tried to do my best of taking my profits and kind of walking away for the day. So my preference, I think, was okay. I want to show you this real quickly. Uh, let's see. Okay, performance. So looking at this intraday balance chart right here. Um, started nice and just, you know, small amounts all the way up to 348 bucks. And from here, I got us into some bad trades. Went negative 72. And this is really where I got really close to breaking my first rule, which would have been a max loss of $200. I got into another trade with AGRI and... I did cross the $200 mark. Uh, of course, it was unrealized because I didn't sell the position. And it ended up working out, um, and I sold it for a little win. So that put me back to neutral after that trade. And from there, I was really able to just kind of focus, hone in, uh, take some better trades, and work my way all the way up to 824 bucks without having serious drawdowns. So that's what I like to see. I, you know, a nice progression uphill, and I like to try to avoid a lot of these serious drain offs because, you know, emotionally that can wreck you. Just the stress that comes in with that, it's tough. But um, got very close to it today. So, any day, anyways, it was a pretty okay day for me. Um, I had thirty nine trades in total, and quite a few trades. And most of you guys know I, I do most scalp trading trades. So I, I did want to point out, someone mentioned in the comments they wanted to see kind of a bit of strategy, uh, kind of what I, how I trade. And so I want to show a quick little example of that. Um, and the main two stocks I was trading today was this. It was SYTA. Uh, this was a big one that was in play. And AGRI. So this was another one. This... Uh, this is difficult to watch sometimes because when you, first off, it's great that we have this momentum in the market. Of course, this is what you want to see. And sometimes I, you know, it's so great to see, but if you overstay your welcome, uh, sometimes you just get, you can get really get burned on things. And uh, I was just watching this stock and decided to, to hop in for a bunch of trades and scout my way through it. Uh, but the thing is kind of with my strategy, which is why I try to, you know, work on other strategies as well is with the scalping, um, you don't, uh, it's a little bit harder to hold sometimes, um, for your positions. I mean, scalping in essence is just getting in and out very quickly, uh, which does work out for me a lot of the time. And in cases like this, man, it would, it would have been just better to hold on, uh, you know, a good position and, and ride it up. But as you can see, the, this is where the risk comes involved is because you have a stock like this that just goes and goes and goes and goes. And I know I shouldn't chase it. Um, and I know because I know in the back of my head, we're going to get to a spot that's so extended that it's just going to it's going to collapse on itself at some point. And. You know, watching this whole piece of it, it's just like, geez, I, you want to hop in? And so I did, but was just quick to take my profits on it. And we eventually got to a spot here up at the highs where it just had no more steam and it just collapsed um, and went right into a halt. So dangerous, dangerous area, you know. Um, one of the things that happens too mentally, I think, when you start trading this, and for me, you know, if I'm getting scalp trade after scalp trade and they're all green and they're going well, I keep doing that and keep doing that. And then, you know, sometimes you get to in your head, you're like, well, I'm a superhero now and I should just go, you know, bigger in size. But if I was to do that, you know, 
that sometimes where you can get you can just get caught and overstay your welcome and apps you know absolutely go from being up green on the day to being way down red so anyways i was able to avoid this whole uh mess right here thank god which was good um but i want to hear from you guys let me know if, if you traded this and if you got maybe caught in that nasty sell-off right there so real quick i wanted to show you an example of one of my strategy to tra strategies which is um i try to do a good amount of breakout trades and as i was watching this stock i did go in like i said for for trades on the way up and then we got to this whole area here which i realized okay i started to realize okay we're forming kind of that that flat top zone and to me especially when you have higher lows and these uh candles start coming up a bit and they don't have isn't you know big as a wicks to the downside you start to see that kind of a ascending triangle where that um you can see it right there uh, let me see if i can draw it quick uh doodle okay see if this works yeah right there see that triangle right there now you know this doesn't always always happen but um it's kind of high probability whenever you get kind of that flat top area with that ascending triangle uh chances are you know it it, it will break it if there is the momentum so i also want to say i do follow my uh level two charts here uh that's what i have on my left side here so i'm watching the flow of buying and selling coming in i'm watching the the tape here and then also watching if the, how the sellers are stacked and if you see you know sellers stacked really hard sometimes i avoid it because i think it might be a false breakout but um you know sometimes you can break those those sellers down and then just completely rip so anyways i was eyeballing this one and i'll show you two trades i had on this anticipating that breakout um let's see so at 10 26 let's find that spot okay 10 26 i bought in at um 464 1026 464 okay so we're right on this candle i'm anticipating okay we could we could uh potentially break here soon so i want to look for a little bit of a dip off one of these candles and found a dip i got in at 464 so a little high but eh, a pretty decent price right in there right in the, kind of in the middle of that candle almost and from there was holding it and waited just I guess this was, oh yeah, this was a couple seconds, less than a minute. Um, and wait till it ripped and it went up to 480. And I went ahead and just sold it. Um, it was a bit premature, but we did get that kind of the, the break of, uh, what was it, 477. So I just went ahead and took it. And had some profits there, which was good. But then I decided to go in because it looked like we still had that potential to break out further so hopped in again uh 600 shares at 480 and it was on this candle yeah um let's see hopped in at 480 okay so a little bit towards the high but once again i thought there was the probability of this breaking out and it did it breaks and i sell very quickly up at uh 494 boom right in there so it worked out for me because it did pull back again um and as you can see uh, we eventually broke it really hard here so i had the right idea kind of the wrong timing but either way those two trades were really good for me they put me up uh i think one of those trades was like a 130 dollar profit there that was the latter trade uh so good you know good trade as far as scalp real quick to to take take that quick breakout um i kind of wish i would have gotten in obviously because you know we had a huge break so i missed that but that's kind of i just wanted to share that example of uh one of my strategies of kind of breakout trades and that was that was one of them so i wanted to let me know if you guys saw that pattern too if you were kind of anticipating that 
and uh, you know wild momentum today you know because to break that that hard and just continue on so impressive and it's hard not to uh, not to chase that but uh, like I said you know you got to be careful because we do get these nasty kind of sell-offs sometimes with this crazy momentum um, so anyways that was a good stock for me to trade today and the other one SYTA uh, this one still looks like it might have some potential, but it's gone up quite a bit currently at the moment. It's up 179%, so huge gain on today. And um, I traded it a bunch, scalp traded it all, all out throughout a lot of different uh, zones. I think I was, um, I think there was a spot in here I was kind of anticipating, anticipating a break here from that previous little high spot in here at 49. Uh, going along there so that's generally some of my strategies it's it's either kind of those breakout trades looking for anticipating breakouts and sometimes i did have a few trades on what i would call like a continuation um play and that's really as a t stock is squeezing kind of like in this zone here um is just hopping in sometimes at the highs and just selling higher so just seeing kind of watching that level too and seeing if the buying continues and seeing how the buyers and sellers are stacked and if it looks like it's just um really has legs just watching that flow i'll hop in just to get a little bit of extra squeeze and sometimes that can be riskier when you're buying high and hoping to sell higher but with these momentum stocks that's kind of um i don't know sometimes it, it it'll work out um for you on that kind of strategy so um maybe another time i can cover um some of my pullback trades there are times when i i look for something to really run and then try to find a pullback zone buy in on the pullback and then waiting for that next leg and that's that's definitely a good strategy too uh definitely try to do a lot of that looking for huge moves with a little bit of pullback and then the next leg. Um, I'm not the best with those, but that is definitely a strategy I try to use. There's been a lot of times, you know, some, especially now with this, some of these pump and dumps that just explode, um, you know, something like this where it runs up really hard and then pulls back, but eventually just sells off even more, even harder. And I've been caught in those situations plenty of times. Uh, and that's why you really got to watch a lot of different things here. That's that's why level two is so important to watch the the flow of the tape and to see how the buyers and sellers are stacked and, and see their quantities. Uh, very important. So uh, that's it for me. I'm going to wrap it up here. Up 824 bucks. Uh, pretty good day, but I need to stay focused and continue on, um, you know, good good trade days because like i said last that last friday man ate me up and a um six thousand dollar loser destroyed a lot of my profits so just still trying to recover from it and um i'm back um green on the month but uh it's just kind of pathetic to me that you know we're already towards the end of the month here and i'm just just now uh getting back to to green on the month so hey it is how it is uh but that's how it goes so Take care. Let me know how you guys traded today. We'll see you on the next one.